Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangri here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the disturbance on the AC site. So we are having the disturbances on the AC and the DC site. We will discuss uh, in the further lectures for the DC site. Now we are discussing and uh, but taking the consideration of the disturbance on the AC side that is kind of the converter the falls in the converter stations so we have uh, already discussed uh, the basic uh, introduction of that now we are focusing on the disturbance on the AC side now so if you talk about the lightning strokes in the AC network okay what what are the actually the lightning strokes what are the lightning strokes lightning if we talk about the lightning strokes that are kind of the surge waves surge voltage waves which are having the high voltage value that may damage to your equipments which are connected in your households or in your factories so they are and also along with that it is also having the high frequency in megahertz okay so we have to eliminate these uh, so we are uh, all we are using generally arresters okay so now we will uh, let's see what is uh, actually written and talking about that the lightning strokes uh, so what is the lightning stroke i have told you in the ac networks so if there is a lightning strokes in the ac network that may cause the steep fronted high voltages okay reduced in the magnitude and the steepness of the ac filter steepness by the ac filters so whenever you are having the lightning strokes will be in the kind of the steep fronted high voltage waves steep fronted high voltage waves uh, you can say for the short duration of time it will have the impulsive voltage value it means the high voltage value for the short duration of time so what is actually it is doing the ac filters is reducing the magnitude and the steepness of uh, the steep fronted uh, high voltage waves now when it is passed through the converter transformer what it is passed that is your lightning strokes when it is passed through the converter stations or convert sorry the converter transformer they appear as a highly damped switching surges the damping will be there damping will be the damping factor is there so that the magnitude or you can say the amplitude for the further interval it will be in the reducing manner so when it is passed through the converter station so where it is passed that is uh, passed through the converter stations and when it is passed through the converter station they will appear as a highly damped switching surges across the converter now the initiation and the clearing initiation when it is uh, started okay uh, and the clearing of the faults when the faults has occurred it is initiated and start clearing in the system using the protective equipments in your ac system result in the switching surges and the temporary over voltages so that will have the switching surges and this these uh, switching surges sometimes in the converter stations may be caused due to the your lc circuits because you are having the inductor and also the capacitors are connected along your transmission lines if these are actually connected then what happens due to the due to this due to this the lc oscillations will be there having the high frequency of oscillations so initiations it is saying the initiation that is it means the starting and the clearing of the faults when the fault is cleared by the circuit breaker the circuit breaker along with the relay and other uh, you can say the arresters filters okay so by the these equipments we can clear these faults so surging at that time the switching surges so what will be a cause of that it may be a, it may be cause or it will also generates along with that the switching surges and the temporary over voltages temporary over voltages means it is for the short duration of time so that is called the temporary over voltages so i can mark it that is the switching surges and the second is the temporary over voltages now the fourth point what is the fourth point energization of the converter transformer energization of the converter transformer it is kind of the similar to the conventional transformer but uh, we are dealing with the converter if we are talking about the converter transformer so we are dealing with the leakage impedance here so uh, so we are taking the more leakage impedance which we have 
already discussed in the uh, understanding of that equipment. So now energization of the converter equipment, energization, energization of the converter transformer can cause the high voltages due to the inertus magnetizing current. Okay. So there, there will be the inertus magnetizing current. We will have the magnetizing current. Okay, so that is the no load, uh, that is a no load current will be divided into the magnetizing current and the, that is called the, uh, that is uh, the, also called the waterless current and last up and it will remain there last up to 100 cycles. So that is more than enough uh, actually if we consider now. So I can say this type of the temporary over voltages, this type of the temporary over voltages, over voltages can cause the severe stresses on the metal oxide surge arresters having the insulators also so if these uh, temporary over voltages are occurring then it may uh, cause the stresses that electric field intensity that in uh, those uh, equipments for those equipments uh, kind of the metal oxide surge arresters will have the maximum stresses and due to these uh, stresses they may be seen as a breakdown we may say uh, see a breakdown the metal oxide uh, on the metal oxide surge arresters we will see with the metal oxide surge arresters in the upcoming uh, lectures okay so this is uh, all about this uh, temporary over voltages now the temporary over voltages due to the load rejection can be quite serious if you talk about the temporary over voltages temporary over voltages due to the load rejections if the load is rejected due to the some uh, disturbance can be quite serious so it may be a uh, dangerous for uh, the system for the converter that is also written for the converter stations connected to the weak ac system so i can say whenever we are having the weak ac system and it uh, and the converter station is connected with that so if there is a temporary over voltages then it may be a quite uh, you can say the dangerous for our systems that is on the for the converter stations now during the load rejections during the load rejections there is a possibility of the self excitation in case of the isolating generating plant supplying the converter so there may be possibility of self excitation it may be excited okay the field windings may be excited by itself in case of the isolating isolating generating plant supplying the converter so this may this arises from the ac filters which appear as a capacitive which appears as a capacitive at the fundamental frequency result in the self excitation result in the self excitation of the synchronous generator so uh, i hope you have studied about the synchronous generator in your uh, machine lectures so in that uh, that is already discussed but we here we are dealing with the ac filter so that is kind of new to you which can be, which cannot be controlled if this is happening this is happening in the sense they due to this uh, synchronous generator or this is all these things if the self excitation is uh, occur then this cannot be controlled this cannot be controlled by the ab AVR that is actually the your automatic voltage regulator action now this the only solution if this is happening so it cannot be controlled by the AVR because that is the automatic voltage regulator if that is not control if that is unable to control then we only left with the, uh, the solution that we have to switch off the capacitor and the filter bank so if uh, if it is unable to control so it is uh, clearly said if this is happening if this is happening in the sense the self excitation process starts to occur that it cannot be controlled by your avr so what will be uh, what will we can do we can only be left with only the solution that the switch off we have to switch off the capacitor and the filter bank so i hope you have understood all the uh, points which i have taken for you so tata bye bye and thank you so much